This next script is not necessary, but if you're up to it, it's going to add an awesome element of fun. We're going to need three scripts to communicate. Our first script registers the spawn point with the spawn manager, and the spawn manager receives events from spawn points and from players via the water balloon that hit them. In our first script, spawn point register under when world is started, add send event register to control, which is an object variable and add a parameter self. This is then attached to our spawn point and references our spawn controller, which is a pyramid object. Once this script is attached and references the controller, we can duplicate and place these spawn points all over the map. The next script we need is spawn manager. This starts by receiving the register event with parameter object ID. It then adds the object ID to an object list variable called spawn points. And then when player enters world, the script listens to events on the player. Listen to is an awesome code block, allowing you to get all of the events that run on another object, or in this case, on a player. Please note you cannot run a script on a player, but we can send events to the player which are received here. Next, we will receive another custom event called player hit, which is received with a player ID parameter. And then we will respawn the player ID to a random item from the spawn points list. You can find get item at index from list at the bottom of operators. Now we'll place a random number with zero on the left and the length of the list code block on the right. Make sure to attach the script to the pyramid object from before. Wonderful. With this addition, we can now respawn the player to a random location. Great work, this is awesome stuff. The last thing to do on our water balloon under collision with player event, indented below score plus one, place send event to object. Change my event to player hit and replace self with the player pill. You also need to place the player pill in the empty parameter slot. Now on our spawn manager, we will know what player was hit and we can respawn them accordingly. Now we can test this out. Splash, that's so cool and so much fun. And the next part, we're going to look at resetting the world entirely. There are two ways to reset your world, either manually moving objects back to their original positions and states, which is called a soft reset because you're in control of what's changed. But the easier way to do it is a hard reset, which can be done by using the reset world code block, which is found in the actions tab. This puts everything back to its original state, but it will not respawn players. You can easily respawn players in the world by running a simple script that says when world is entered by player, respawn player on self. That script can then be attached to your starting spawn point. In our case, we will randomly respawn players. On the scoreboard script under the player enter event, we will add send event to object and change it to send player hit to player with the parameter player. This will randomly distribute all of the players on world reset. And in the next step, we will use our trophy to reset the world. Back on our trophy script, let's add two lines to allow the players to reset the world. Bring over the index trigger event and from actions, grab reset world. Now when players win the trophy, they can reset the world. Let's add some instructions. From the trophy's property panel, zoom into the grouping and edit the text to say, press index trigger to reset world. This is incredible. You've now made a game that can be replayed over and over again. Seriously, this is wonderful work and this is no small feat. And if you're still working on some of the earlier scripts, no need to worry at all. Please feel free to continue taking your time in this section. You have done an absolutely wonderful job and are well on your way to mastering scripting, so great work. We have lots of tutorials in and out of Horizon. Be sure to experiment in this world playing with these new tools and try out different ideas and combinations. You can join us for the publishing tutorial next, where we're going to share your work with the world. I'll see you in Horizon.